Hi everyone. The next two books I'm going to recommend are nonfiction titles and um, they have to do with the development and the destruction of the atomic bomb. So this book, Bomb, by Steve Schenken is currently available in the library, physical copy, and you can also get it as an audiobook or an ebook on Sora. In this book, it's the race to build and steal the world's most dangerous weapon. So it talks about the arms race between um, Germany, Russia, or so Germany, Russia, and um, the United States as they race to act, to build this atomic weapon. Um, and it covers everything from the spies and the red um, spies and communism in the United States and the fear that um, some of our scientists were actually Russian spies and who the Russian spies actually were. So it has that piece. And then it also has what's going on in other countries and how um, the bomb is developed and used. And one of my favorite chapters in the book is chapter two or section two, because there's each section is divided into smaller chapters where it talks about um, Britain's failed attempt at destroying, um, hit, thwarting Hitler in developing the bomb. Um, and when Britain fails, it's the mission is left to these Norwegian men after um, hit, uh, the Nazis have invaded Norway to then destroy the, this atomic weapon. And so that, when I read this book a few years ago, was is probably one that and the spies the story of the spies in the united states were the two stories that kind of stood out to me so i was thrilled when i saw that um let me get to my next when i saw that sabotage came out by neil bascom neil bascom has written other books um about World War II and he writes for adults and then often his books are um then turned into young adult books too. So Sabotage is available as a young adult reader edition as well as an adult title. His other, one of his other books is Nazi Hunters and it traces the story of trying to capture the biggest um, offenders of war crimes during World War II. Um, so it's called Nazi Hunters. So it's trying to find the Nazis that did terrible, terrible crimes and hold them accountable. Um, and it traces the search all through different parts of the world until they finally find them. Um, but sabotage is the story of these Norwegian men who are trying, who are um, obviously really upset that the Nazis have taken over their country and are trying to fight back. And so um, the British invasion has already, um, the British um, mission to thwart Hitler has already failed. And these Norwegian men um, who love their country and long to free it from Nazi rule are armed with little more than parachutes, um, skis, explosive, and they have unending amounts of courage. They parachute into a um, into the country. They have to scale a ravine, um, elude a huge German manhunt, and execute two desperately dangerous missions. The result is the first strokes in what would become the greatest act of sabotage in World War II, and they destroy the center where, or the lab where Hitler is working on the atomic bomb. And so this, I love how these two stories are connected, this being one chapter and this fleshing that chapter out all the way into this story and finding that um, the niches of all of the things that happened and who were those men, not just a sentence and not just a name in a book or in a chapter, but really getting into the background of who they were and the awesome things that they did. So these are my two recommendations today. I'm sorry, the sun is glaring on the books. They are both available in the library. Um, Sabotage is available in print in the library and it's available as an audiobook on Sora. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, let me know if you need any help.